Hello children, welcome to the digital lessons organized by district educational officer Nalgunda. I am Sarita working as school assistant bioscience at ZPHS Kompelli, Mungod Mandal, Nalgunda. I am here to present lesson on world of microorganisms part 1 of 8th class. <coughs> Sorry children. I am suffering from cold. Have you ever suffered from cold? You may have few questions like why and how this common cold may caused in our body and what might be the causative agent of this common cold. Students, have you identified this? Yes, this is curd. I usually take meals with curd. I like curd. Do you like it? How this curd is formed? Have you ever observed your mother making curd at home? A small amount of curd is added to lukewarm milk to make curd. And why small amount of curd is added to lukewarm milk to make curd? Come children, let us find out answers to these questions in this lesson. Students, can you identify the scientist? Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, he is from Netherlands and he was a cloth merchant. He built a single lens microscope which could magnify an object for about 300 times. He also built a powerful microscope with the help of which in 1674 he observed small living uh, moving organisms. So, he named those organisms as animalcules. Not only these animalcules, but also he observed many different moving small uh, living organisms whose names were named later. And what are these small moving living organisms called? These are called microorganisms. Microorganisms are tiny microscopic organisms which can be seen only with the help of microscope. Microorganisms are present everywhere. Microorganisms are omnipresent. They are present in air, water, in soil and also on the body surface, on our body surface and also inside the body and also in plants and also in animals. So, microorganisms may belong to groups like bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoa, viruses and small uh, microarthropods also. So, let us see few examples of microorganisms. So, uh, different types of bacteria, if you see different types of bacteria, so round shaped cocci, rod shaped bacillus. And the bacilli which is present in the milk, it is called as lactobacillus. And examples of fungi, penicillium. So, the antibiotic penicillin is extracted from this fungi. So, the next rhizopus, we usually find uh, the rhizopus uh, uh, growing on bread. Then next asparagus is another example of fungi. The next examples of algae, chlamydomonas, Pyrogyra, diatom. Then next examples of protozoa, amoeba, paramecium, verticella. Examples of microarthropods, cyclops, daphnia, scabies mite and eyelash mite. So children, let us see microorganisms with some activities. Let us do few activities by which we can observe microorganisms under microscope. So, first observation of fungi. So, usually during rainy seasons on moist lands or on wet lands, we will find umbrella shaped organisms growing. Those are called as mushrooms. Mushrooms belong to the group fungi, but we can see with our eye. But there are many other organisms belonging to the fungi group which we cannot see with our eye, which can be seen only with the help of microscope. So, let us do an activity to find, to observe fungi under microscope. Take a spoiled bread 
take a sterilized slide take dark colored black colored or gray colored spoiled part of the bread onto slide add one or two drops of water on the sample and observe it under the microscope so children draw the diagrams of those organisms you observed under the microscope next observation of bacteria lactobacilli is present in milk lactobacillus is responsible for the formation of curd so let us do an activity to observe lactobacilli in curd so take collect samples of buttermilk or curd and add one or two drops of curd on slide and then spread the sample on the surface of slide then heat the slide heat the slide for 5 to 6 seconds so this is called as heat fixation so after the fixation of the sample onto the slide add one or two drops of crystal violet solution onto the sample keep the slide aside for 1 or 2 minutes then wash the slide with water gently observe the slide observe the sample under the microscope draw the diagrams of the organisms you observed under the microscope next observation of algae we usually observe greenish colored organisms growing in pond so the algae gives greenish color to the pond water collect greenish part of pond water or else greenish scrapings from water tank to observe algae so collect greenish part of pond water add thin thread like structures onto the slide and observe under the microscope let us do an activity to observe protozoans in order to observe protozoans first we need to grow them so in order to grow protozoa take dry hay in a bowl add pond water add pond water to the dry hay and leave it aside for about 3 to 4 days after 3 to 4 days hay decoction will be formed so before itself i prepared hay decoction so take one or two drops of hay decoction onto the slide and observe it under microscope children draw the diagrams of those organisms you observed under microscope so next observation of soil microorganisms microarthropods are present in soil not only microarthropods but also bacteria and fungi are also present in soil so let us do an activity to observe the microorganisms present in soil collect the soil from any field and add to beaker or any glass add water to the sample and stir well allow 
the soil particles to settle down after the soil particles settle down take one or two drops of the supernatant water onto the slide and observe it under microscope draw the diagrams of those organisms you observe under the microscope the another interesting group of microorganisms are viruses viruses behave like non living organism outside the host cell and they behave as a living organism inside the host cells like human or plant or animal cells these viruses can cause diseases like common cold aids swine flu polio and corona so then next children up to here in this lesson we have learnt that microorganisms are very tiny microscopic organisms which can be seen only with the help of microscope and microorganisms belong to the groups like bacteria fungi protozoa microarthropods viruses etc then this microorganisms in order to observe microorganisms we did different activities so then next after going through this lesson you have to you can answer to the following questions you can evaluate self what are microorganisms give examples what were the small moving organisms named by leven hock what would happen if microorganisms were not discovered what is the procedure to observe soil microbes what are the diseases caused by viruses thank you children we will meet in the next lesson thank you